just trying to get it. Time to drink. He got it. <laughs> if you're moving forward, that's not even going to be a joke anymore. He'll just get it yep. every time. Time to drink. All right. This week we are going to be drinking daiquiris, not the frozen kind. No, nope, we've already done the shredded strawberry daiquiri earlier episode. And it's extremely different from a regular daiquiri. Right. Right. Like, very different. I didn't even know there was a such thing as a daiquiri other than a frozen daiquiri until recently. And what's the best thing about a daiquiri? It comes with a history lesson. <laughs> Yay! So, so grab your stool and uh, let's get started here. Alright, so a daiquiri, very simple, very simple drink to make. I've got three variations we're going to make of it today. Lots of fun. So first we want to talk about rums, right? And there's a lot of rum, there's a lot of options. And you know, we like to go with the local distilleries or kind of the American well, distill. Can. Not for rum, y'all. Not not for rum. <laughs> we went with two southern distilleries, and it just doesn't have that same level of sweetness that the Caribbean, South American rums have. We, we just haven't been happy with them. So I've got two here that I really like. Wait, uh, this one's been aged, it says, for 12 months. Yeah, this is Havana Club Puerto Rican rum. Very sweet, very good. Great for mixing. Not sweet as in sugar. No, no, no. There's not any carbs in it or anything like that, but rum is made from, you know, sugar. Yeah. So great for mixing, also good for drinking. It's going to work really well for the drinks we're making tonight. Appleton Estates also makes a really good rum. This is more like the mixing grade rum that they make. So they make another, a higher grade that's been aged for a, lot, for a long time. It's really good. Appleton Estates, I definitely suggest these two. Appleton Estates and Havana Club must have in your bar. bar. In your bar. bar. In your <laughs> In your bar. <laughs> must have in your bar. Let's make a daiquiri. We're going to make a simple, probably the fir very first version of a daiquiri dating all the way back to 1750s. Uh, seven Year War is being fought at the time. It is not fun being a sailor in the British Navy. Uh, Hazel doesn't even like the sound of it. <laughs> no, say no. So what the British uh, Crown did to lift the spirits of sailors was they gave them a daily rum ration. Okay, and and rum was distributed to sailors. <laughs> rum was distributed to sailors twice a day kind of around lunch and kind of what we would call like um, I did not know that. tea time in in england was a rum ration for sailors right so, so instead of tea and biscuits it's, shot of rum. It's, it's rum right and so then what happens is like one of the reasons it's terrible to be a sailor is the scurvy and all of this and so english physicians found out that there was this like a need for citrus fruit, like vitamin C, right? So you can kind of see where this is going. You got your rum, you're in the Caribbean, there's all kinds of citrus fruits, you got your limes, you got your lemons, you got whatever you want. So along with the rum ration, they started giving them citrus yes. fruit. So you're a sailor, what are you gonna do with these limes and your rum? You're gonna mix them together. And this is how the daiquiri is created. So I'm gonna make this one in the glass. We're gonna kind of make this like an old fashioned daiquiri. Of course, you're also in the Caribbean. What was there plenty of in the Caribbean at the time? Sugar. A little bit of sugar. Sugar cane. Sugar cane. So the sailors started to take their lime, their rum, and the sugar they had around and made it into a cocktail. All right, so tell them what this is. All right, so these are Erica's churro cubes. They're about, what do we say they were, like a quarter of a teaspoon, I think? I don't know. Yeah. Just the mold we, we had. four of them was a teaspoon, but these are low carb. You, this is not a real sugar cube. It's a low carb sugar cube. We use Lacanto Monk Fruit Golden for these. They're super, super easy to make. And then once they're hard, they stay hard. And we've had this for over a month. Oh, yes, absolutely. They stay they're, hard. They're very fresh, delicious. They I work really, really well. Yeah, I'm going to eat one. They're great. The longer you let them dry, the better they get, I think, really. All right, you can take this and cut us off a little lemon slice if you, or a lime slice if you want. So just like an old fashioned, I'm gonna take my lime, I'm just gonna squeeze it right into the glass here. I've got it over my sugar cubes. Now, if you want this a little bit sweeter, you could add an extra sugar cube. You just kind of do this to taste, all right? So again, I'm just gonna kind of muddle up, mixing up my lime. Mixing up my sugar. 
same kind of idea if we had the bitters. And then I'm going to take my Havana Club here because I we, just like it. We really, really like the Havana Club. I don't know about it. Have I tasted the Appleton? You have in different have. things. I just really like this Havana Club. So I'm going to go two. My ra This is one ration. Two ounces of lime right there. Get another two later on. And get you a big cube. I'm not using my bar spoon. I'm using my knife like I'm a sailor. I really think this may be one of the first cocktails ever served. Not recipes, but just fat. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oops. That's how my days are going, y'all. I can't even drink a drink properly. How's it taste? You know what you, else you can do here is you take your lime that you squeeze and just give it a little rub on the outside there. You're making a mess. It's a messy drink, baby. Oh my goodness. Sailors in the British Navy. Goodness here. gracious. What do you think? It's good. I could do with a little bit more sweetness, but I like right. it. Right. You make it to the sweetness level that you like. I like it. That would definitely not be good if you were not a fan of rum. Oh. Hot mess express from Hot here. Hot mess today, express. I guess I'm no, not going to use the bar spoon either. I just noticed that there was still a lot of sugar granules at the bottom yeah, here. Yeah, and, and that's the thing so about this Lacanta. I was going to stir it a little bit more so that I could see what it tasted like. It doesn't. It doesn't melt or totally dissolve. Um, dissolve as well. But if you give your, if you just work it in the glass, that's part of the appeal of the drink here too. It really kind of enhances yeah. the flavor. Cool. It's just a variation. It's not how I would necessarily serve a daiquiri on a regular basis. It's just an idea, kind of getting into this the This was going original. with our history lesson. Going with our history this part lesson. Went with the history Let's lesson. get into the real how we would really make a daiquiri now, okay? okay? All right, so we're going to use our coupe glass. We've got the same ingredients, though. We're going to use lime juice, simple syrup, and rum. That's, that's all we're putting into it, okay? All right, so we're going with one ounce of lime juice. This, this is fresh squeeze. I was gonna say. Fresh squeeze. Still have some pulp in it. A little worried. I got my sugar cube still open over here. Oh, yeah. Don't get it. You know how messy I am. We don't want to get those wet. All right. We're going to go with this is swoon simple syrup. We've made simple syrups. Cost wise, it's. Making you're just, your own is not super inexpensive either. So it's if you're not going to flavor it. Yeah. Uh, we use this for our base simple syrup, and then if we're going to make flavored simple syrups, then I make them myself. Simple syrup is super easy to make. It's one part water, one part sugar. For low carb, one part water, one part allulose, and it works really, really, really well. It takes like five minutes to make, but cost-wise, allulose is not the cheapest thing ever. So buying it this way works. Sorry. Did I fine. Did nope. something? Nope. So we, we've got an ounce of lime juice. We've got three fourths of an ounce of simple syrup and two ounces of rum. Okay. We've got in our box of shaker here, we're just gonna add some ice. Smile when you shake. And this will be your very much your original daiquiri. Strain the ice, coupe glass. And this is an antique coupe glass that I inherited from my grandparents. And I love when we get to use these. I love, like one of my favorite things about our bar is these that were handed out from my grandparents and then we got these from jason's dad he's no longer with us either and i just it feels really special to me to use his barware so i feel like our barware set i'm gonna cry your grandparents drank a lot of liquor out of those they huh? did. i don't know what they drink my grandparents did not drink alcohol y'all i don't know what they use these for i think I maybe know. sorbet or something jello she probably, jello. Put, she probably put jello in pudding <laughs> Taste that up. That's a classic daiquiri right there. That's good. All right. I really like that. I like the one you made the other night though. That yeah, had now see, you're hearing what you're thinking, right? Yeah. You're sitting here, if you watch us at all, you said, okay, this sounds like a, just your basic sour drink, right? And you know, when I make a sour drink, what, what does it have to have? Egg white. Egg white. So we're going to make it again. This time we're going to add the egg just white. just makes such a pretty drink. It makes it so pretty. Like, yes. and it just gives it that extra mouthfeel. This is so good, though, y'all. Like, I didn't even know what a daiquiri was until he made this the other week. I just thought the frozen daiquiris were what a daiquiri was. And those are so different than these. These are so, like, refined and simple at the same time. And plus, when it's in this kind of a glass, it always makes me feel fancy. All right, it's the same recipe, y'all. We're gonna go an uh, ounce of lime juice, three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup, 
and two ounces of rum. And I've looked, obviously we're not bartenders, but I've looked online. I cannot find a daiquiri recipe anywhere that calls for an egg. But if we're making a sour, I'm putting an egg in it. I just, I, I just can't stand when you know. Well, here's the thing, y'all. We're not bartenders, so we don't follow any rules. We make what sounds good to us and what tastes good to us, and that's what we're sharing. And I think that's what's going to be. Oh, he's never done this, y'all. Never done, my help. never done on camera. Oh, on camera. Oh. But what I was going to say is that's what's going to be cool about our cocktail recipes. Mm -hmm that are coming out hopefully by mid-August is what we're thinking at this point. We're working super hard on it, but they're going to be unique. They're not going to be just your standard drink that you could get anywhere. They're going to be unique. Yep. This is not in the book though. We'll put this recipe down below. This is a dry shake. You've seen it before. Dry shake your egg first, add your ice, shake it again. And this, it's just delicious. It just adds just another so level. So maybe this one wouldn't be called a daiquiri. Maybe this is the rum sour. Yeah, rum sour, I guess, yeah. Might Instead of a daiquiri, off, this would be the daiquiri, and then this one will be the rum sugar. sour. Rum sour, there you go, babe. Right? Yeah, nailed it. So Lovely. pretty, look at that. And just look at the difference between Hand me a um, the two. peeler. I'm gonna like see if we can do a Oh, uh, you should have been working twist. on that. I know, I'm not, well, I didn't know what we were doing. You were making. I'm gonna see if I could do like a lime twist in this one since it's more we're doing more like a sour than a yeah great rum oh whoops oops <laughs> i probably should have made you put it in because this is not my day oh my gosh y'all we're gonna pretend that didn't happen there there you go perfect beautiful there you go I'm so fancy. <laughs> I'm so fancy sophisticated. All right, taste so that sophisticated. Up. Okay. Oh. Rum. What do we call this? A rum sour. There rum sour. Rum sour. There you go. It's good, right? So good. It's worth it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So we've got the sailor old fashioned daiquiri. The old fashioned, the old -fashioned daiquiri. daiquiri. We've got the standard daiquiri. The classic daiquiri. The classic daiquiri, and we've got the rum sour. Perfect. Three great drinks, very refreshing summer drinks. You're gonna love them. Yeah. If y'all make them, tag us in on Instagram, on time to shrink underscore Erica over on Instagram, and that'll be linked down below as well. And we will write out the recipes for you down below. And I'll probably share some of these recipes over on Instagram as well. And if you have a rum preference, something that you like, yeah. we'd love for you to link that Let down below. Let us know as down well. below what your favorite rum is. Rum is one of those that there's so many different variations from on. so many countries oh and so many, like, there's a whole book. What was that book called? There's this book called Smuggler's Cove that if you're into ROM or if you want to get into ROM, it's amazing. It categorizes ROMs like eight, seven different categories and it explains it so well. So these are the two we found that we really just like the taste of to play with. But we also have the Demerara rum we that we love. We've got, all kinds We've got of the rums. overproof rum. There's just Rum is this huge world that I didn't even know existed. Now, you do have to be careful with your spice rums and your coconut right. rums because then you start adding carbs to them. And so, actually, right? even some of your just regular rums, they will put, have a little bit of sugar content. It's not enough that it's going to really affect yeah, your a drink. A lot of carbs. the Bacardis have less than a car. It's less than it's a car. It's less than a car, but, but it's there. a lot of the Bacardi's, which I do like the flavor of the yeah, Bacardi's, but the Bacardi's they do, do have a little bit of car. That little bit of okay. sugar that they add after the distilling process. So if this you're making a daiquiri. This is cane sugar distilled, yes, right? right? But because of the distilling process, there's no carbs. But there are some rums out there that they add carbs back into in the form of a little bit of extra sweetness, a little bit of extra sugar. So you do have to be a little bit careful if you're watching your carbs. And then yeah. totally the ones that are spiced or flavored, yeah. those are going to be carby. And if you're making a daiquiri, like think about it. If you're making a daiquiri, you got an ounce of lime juice in here. So you're talking about three, three and a half carbs. carbs. And then if you add another 0.7, now you're over four for a drink. For so one drink. that's, you our, know, we, our, we're okay with yeah. that. Our rule of thumb is less than five carbs per drink. Most of our drinks are like two mm, to three carbs. Really 
But as long as it's less than five, I'm okay mm. with it. That's really good. Yeah, plan for it. I know, right? It's good. It's such a simple drink, but so, so good. good. And I needed this. I've had a day, y'all. <laughs> you don't even know. I have had a day. Thanks for hanging out with us. We do this every single Friday night at 6 p.m. Eastern. It's a time to drink episode every single Friday night at 6 p.m. Eastern. We'd love to have you come and hang out with us. Let us know what you'd like us to make. Let us know what your favorite drink is. What have you not been able to make low carb? And we'll, we'll, we'll look into put it. it in the lab. <laughs> Pretty much anything is possible. Yep. Not anything, but almost a anything is possible. A lot of things are possible. So. Give us your wish list and let us play. I'm having so much fun in my lab, AKA this kitchen right here, <laughs> creating all kinds of stuff. So we will see you again next Friday for another episode of Time to Drink. Bye y'all. Be blessed.